Rays baseball is next. Tyler Glasnow gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? This guy's a pretty good pitcher, and I was looking through the stats, and one thing jumped out of me, a sub 1.20 whip coming into this start. That tells me a couple of things. One, he's not afraid to throw strikes, and two, when he does throw strikes, he throws quality, and he still gets people out. Leading It'll be fun to Boston. watch this guy work in this I one today. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Bogart. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. John John Johnston is now with. And there's one away. Streaming MLB The Show 2-1. Red Sox versus Rays 8 3 0 one The center fielder, number 99, Alex Verdugo. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. And there you see his righty lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Matty, I'm looking forward to this one. They got their ace on the mound today. You get to the ballpark, you're ready to go. You're watching video. You know this guy is going to put his best foot forward, execute pitches to all quadrants. The opposition's got to be on point Outside if they're going to have a ball. chance today. Count even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Kiermaier. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now to bat, J.D. Martinez. And as you can see, he's seen that average climb the last week or so. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Hard ground ball to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He's up with it. The throw. Got him. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. Lost to nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball. on the mound for the series opener. What do you have for us on him, Danny? A huge arm comes with Nathan Eovaldi up towards 95 to 100 miles an hour. All the way back from Tommy John surgery. Power pitcher deluxe. His best swing and miss pitch, though, is the split finger. He'll throw that to both righties and lefties. Standing in, Kevin Kiermaier, as we run you the numbers to see the split between July and August. Kiermaier. First pitch of the A.B. now. And oh, we can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Of course, the crowd is going to get on him a little bit here, but I find it hard to believe there was any intention there. Bottom of the first, you never want to dig yourself a hole on the mound just to send a message. That brings up Wander Franco. Back hey. left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here's the 0-1. Oh, now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Dero, I think Jerry Hillsdale is a very good hitter's umpire. Doesn't give much on the edges. He's going to make you put the ball in the one plate. Ball. Oh, I love Two me strength. some Jerry Hillsdale. You have to come over those 17 inches. He ain't giving you anything on the outside corner. And that's the way it should be. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Absolutely scorched that base hit. Worthy of some show track love. And as you see it, it came off the bat at 110 miles an hour. That's definitely squaring the ball up. In now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Mano y mano against Nate Evaldi. He's had success six for 14. Two of those hits were for home runs. Fouled away. Here's the 0 and 2. And he popped him up over toward the left side of the infield. Devers has it, and there's one away. Batting four. The second baseman. Brandon. And 
stepping in. Brandon Lau coming into this one. His season home run total tops in the American League. Man, this guy's been in fuego lately. A boatload of homers over his last 10 games. Yeah, usually, Dan, and guys get hot throughout the course of the season, but not like this. Hot and hot with damage. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Yeah, it just misses off the inside for ball one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And that one yanked just foul. Here he comes again, one, two. He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. That swing tells me he was really that trying to get a pitch out front and no rip it down good. the line, but that Randy. wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Here's Randy Arozarena as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He'll enter play here at 293. 28 home runs and 51 runs batted in. Comes set. The 0-1. Lifted in the air to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. Ray strand a pair. And this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Rafael Devers, his previous meeting line with Tyler Glasnow, he's a 333 hitter. He's taken him deep once. Yes, he'll take a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. On the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. The catcher. Christian. Next, it'll be Christian Vasquez. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Here it comes, 0-2. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a swing and a miss. He struck him out. And it's two up, two down to start the second. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese, swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. At the plate, Hunter Renfro. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And he takes a cold strike one. One and one. Two out, nobody on. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Even nope, two and two count to Hunter Renfro. Two balls, two strikes. Little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. Pitch on the way. Ball, He's struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. High and deep to right center. Meadows moving back. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So I saving you a clean. That'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. Mano y Mano against Nady Avaldi. Two hits in seven tries. He also has one home run. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. In his career, Cruz is certainly known for his prolific power as he currently sits on 449 career home runs. Tied with Vlad Guerrero, one of the best players I ever had the chance of going against. The scariest guy I've ever played third base against was Vlad Guerrero in Olympic Stadium on the turf. Watch your face. 
Well, he kind of struggled through that first inning, but ended up getting out of it. Now here in the second, you know he'd love to get this leadoff guy and get off on the right foot and maybe settle into this game a bit. Martinez has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round count. number one. The third baseman, Michael Rosso. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Michael Rosso. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. A ball and no strikes. Bottom of the second here with no score. Well, Just missing here, 2 and 0. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Hit weakly back to the mound. And there are two away now. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz. Comes in after a day of rest yesterday, so we'll see if it did him any good. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. At the ball. And he lays off there. One and oh. one, no fight. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Well located fastball right there. If he could continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Three. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Back now at Tropicana Field, home of the Rays, who have benefited from some solid pitching all season long. Coming into the day, they've amassed the most strikeouts in the league while also issuing the fewest walks, a feat that makes their coaching staff extremely happy. As one of them said to me, when you can rack up strikeouts like we do but not walk anyone, that tells you a lot about the incredible stuff our pitchers have and they trust it. Guys, it's an aggressive pitching staff with a lot of swing and miss in their game. Thank you, Heidi. That'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. 2-0 now. Now the pitch. Hey! Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the dirt, get you to fish a little bit. I want to see where he goes here. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Boy, that double was an absolute that missile. Is. Yeah, Matt, you can't fault the outfielder too much either. The line drive was hit right at him, and I think it took a minute to gauge where it was going. So I think he misjudged it a bit. The end result, the ball gets down, and the hitter is standing at second base with a solid double. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now, and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first oh, run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here, but at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game could make a big difference. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. No one out with a runner at second. Now a swinging bunt. Three goal. Got him swinging for the first down. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so... That's a tip of the cap for the blue. Kike Hernandez stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. On to first, oh. and there were two down. And now here is Xander Bogarts flew out in his only at bat so far. From the belt, the pitch. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand 
just a little bit earlier than he intended. Smoked on the ground left side. And a base hit as the run will come in to score, and that gives the Red Sox a 1-0 lead. Hey, you never know when the turning point's going to come. It could be your number right there. Just an excellent job. Two-out RBI. I know it's early, but clutch hitting is not just for the late innings. Alex Verdugo digging in now. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Comes set with the 0 and 1. He's got a good feel for his off speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. Now a changeup hit on the ground to shortstop. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the catcher Mike Zanino. First pitch of the AB on its way. He'll take a look at the strike right down the middle. It's 0 and 1. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Aye. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And he Aye. takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just now throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. And it's fouled away. And maybe a little extra motivation for him here after being hit by a pitch in his first at-bat. The wind-up and the 0-1. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. Here's another 0 2. Pitch is popped up. And there's that number two. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. To the plate now, Wander Franco. And he'll take a look at ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Just outside. off the outside corner, ball two. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2-0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good Aye. eye. Two and one. I got two and usually the, the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. Two. Back. two out, nobody on. 2-2 two, two pitch is fouled away. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw to He's first out. ends the inning. Down in order go the Rays. They're on the short end of a 1-0 score. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. Set and the pitch. Nope. That's inside. The 1 0. Ball, that's outside. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2 0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Hey. And that one finds the target on the outside corner. 2 and 2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. 
Kiermaier is there and he has it for the first down. Up next for the Red Sox. And while we have a moment, here's a look at the Rays Road to the Show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And it's 1 and 1. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Swung out and missed, and it's even at two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's the second out. Digging in next, Christian Vasquez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. So we'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this yep, point. That ball went out. 2 and 0 now. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Too ball tight with in. that one. 3 and 0. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful Aye. not to just groove one here just because it's 3 and 0. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Hey, there was great arm action on that 3-1 changeup right here. He's got this guy thinking. That's the beauty right now. We go to a full count. Do you sit change up? The batter. Or do you stay with the heater? Right that's the difference in today's games. The pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. Next, here is Hunter Renfro. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty oh, of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. I think a big reason why he's been... Hit high and deep is straight away right field. Meadows moving back at the track, but he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. He pulls in the third safely as a run will score on the play as well. The pitcher was almost out of the inning. I think he might have taken that third out for granted. Instead, he gives up a two-out RBI triple to make it 2 nothing. Into the box, Bobby Dombeck has the first pitch to him. It's a changeup. He can't find the zone. It's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And this one's on the inside corner. One and one. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. He got two balls. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Two balls. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scoring triple. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2 0 Boston. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Playable for Verdugo, and there's one gone. Okay. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup Second hitter, Brandon Lau. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. In there for strike one. And Ball. one and That's one as this one's in on the hands. Just behind one the ball, fastball two there, down. two strikes now. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. A swing and he pulls it down the line and deep. 
And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. Solo shot down the line in right. Number 43 on the year for him. And the Rays have cut this to a 2-1 ball game now. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Standing in now, Randy Rosarena. High in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Martinez. Gone! They've tied the game on back-to-back -back home run. So a solo shot here to left center field. 29 home runs for him on the year as the Rays have come back to tie things at two. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Here's Nelson Cruz now. The first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's one thrown the first pitch strike to. Counts even at one and one to Nelson Cruz. Still only one out in the inning. One one Count pitches two, a curveball that misses ball two. Well, that's pretty much a no-brainer right there. If a guy misses that bad on a curveball, you've got to throw him another one. That was better recognition there. Gonzalez is up with it. And there's out number two. Stepping in next, Michael Brusso. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Nice adjustment out on the mound. Overthrew the first one a little bit, but got on top and let that ball rip right out in front of him. Two and one to count. Two runs, three hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. Memories being made at the ballpark tonight, as they should be. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And he told me he'd like to see a lot more aggressiveness in their at-bats the rest of the game. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Thank you, Heidi. First offering. Here's a ball well struck for the right field corner. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the Red Sox have something going. It's a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair and he's safely on second. now Kike Hernandez line drive and that's a base hit into center field and they'll put the brakes on at third runners at the corners with nobody out hey this has the makings of being a pretty big hitting the roll leadoff double now a base hit and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third yeah sometimes you wake up and just get smacked in the mouth right here he's gonna have to start executing pitches he cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here he's gonna have damage on his hands He's one for two in this one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Runners are at first and third with none out. 
Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Okay. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Hit the other way out toward right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And the go-ahead run will score on the sacrifice fly as this is now a three to two ball game. Next to hit is Alex Verdugo. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that's through for his first base hit in this one. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So a three-run blast to straightaway left, number 28 on the season, as they open it up to 6-2 to two now. When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Four hole hitter, Rafael Devers. And the starter okay. remains out there despite just allowing the long yeah. ball. We thought maybe they'd go and get him, but no indication of that yet. Yeah, to me, that whole run was a sign that he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. It was a good pitch to hit, and it's typically the command that starts slipping when you're fatiguing a little bit. So I can't see him being out there much longer. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Swing and a liner. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Wow, his manager must have a lot of faith in him, and I'm not sure why. He's given up five hits in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. And now, Christian Vasquez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Swing, and he takes this the other way to right. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Wow, this guy must be a glutton for punishment because he's given up six hits in this inning alone. Not sure how much more rope you can give this guy. At some point, you have to try somebody different. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. Now and the force play is now in order. Bobby. So the bases are Dahlbeck. loaded here with one man gone. And that'll bring up Bobby Dahlbeck. Out in front of it, strike one. The 0-1 pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Four runs here in this half inning. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. On the ground is short. This could be two. Scooped up. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run home run. Middle of the night from St. Pete. It's now six to two Sox. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. 
And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. For the Reds. Thank you, Heidi. The first baseman. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Yandy hey. Diaz is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Grounded up the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now so the leadoff catcher. man set down, and here's the catcher, Mike Zanino. First pitch of the A.B. now. All one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it All doesn't one, quite catch three. the bottom of the zone. High in the air and deep to left center field. Martinez looking up. Strong! The solo homer here for Mike Zanino. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And with that, it's now a 6-3 ball game. Wow, talk about a guy getting hot, right? Hits a bomb. Hit one yesterday. Usually when he gets hot, he starts to hit them in bunches. And this could be the beginning of a very, very good hot streak. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Knee high. He barehands it. He's out. Stepping in is Wander Franco, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And she'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Now it's 2-0. and Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. The 2-0 on the way. There's a shot out to right center field. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple, but he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. At the plate, Austin Meadows. Nope, at the Can't ball. find the zone there as he lays off the breaking no. ball. No hits to this point.
Here comes the 1-0. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. The 1 1. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Rays get one back here thanks to the solo home run. Five innings complete. It's now 6 3. Oliver Gray takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 53, Oliver Gray. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Marwin Gonzalez. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And he looks at a slider in there, one and one. That's no offer two. on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. A bouncer to the left side. That's through for a base hit. His second of the ball game. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox after the inning. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. At the plate now, Kike Hernandez. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. Strike two swinging just down in front of the slider. Hernandez behind the ball and two strikes. I got to count one and two. Here's a pop up now. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Runners off for second. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. The 0-1 on its way. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Pitch popped up. Zanino moving to his left. Two gone. Now back. The Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They still lead it six to three. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next will be the imposing power back, Brandon Lau. First delivery to him. In there, strike one. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander's up and throwing. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Eight, two. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Got him. Throw to first is in time, one down. Now that. So next to bat will be Randy Rosarena. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he's going to make the play over toward his right. And there are two away now. Now back. The designated hitter. Nelson. Cruz. Up next for the Rays. Nelson Cruz. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First pitch of the A.B. now. Ah. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. 
and he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Dahlbeck is there and the side is retired. Rays go in order one two three. They're still doubled up. It's six three. Seventh inning ready to roll and into bat next one of the. Here's the first pitch to him. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And that misses 1 and 1. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Here comes the 1 2. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. This is line to left. A Rosarena is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. So now to the plate, Rafael Devers. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. And he misses two and one. It's a swing and a high pop up. And he'll put this away for the second out. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took now him up it. the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Now to the plate. Here is Christian Vasquez. Two for three oh, with a count. double on his line so far. Owen oh, won the count. Here it comes. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0-2. And, and they'll try and tempt one him with one in the dirt, count. but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. It's a great job to lay off on that nasty slider right there. It's the toughest pitch. It was my toughest pitch to lay off of. I was always sitting fastball middle away. And when that slider came out, boy, did it look like a heater for a long time. Again, he sends it out of play. Again, a one-two. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Red Sox as they're unable to add to their six to three lead. Austin Bryce gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 31, Austin Bryce. Mike Brasso digging in at the plate. He has no prior history against this pitcher. coming here it is and this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one the 1 0 home is swung on and missed strike one hey if he's going to execute that curveball and that's the first one of the day if he's going to execute it like that be on the lookout for that one that's going to be a big pitch for him today count moves to a ball and two strikes now Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate but probably too good to take and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah that pitch was right on the black beautiful pitch and even if we had robot umps he'd still be out but the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it into the box Yandy Diaz as the first pitch sinker misses to him it's ball one bases are empty one man out. Hit the other way out toward right field. Renfro will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now so here's Mike Zanino. He's working on a one for two game so far. It's on its way now to Zanino. As 
He swings and misses at a first oh, pitch one. fastball. 0 and 1. I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0 and 2, but he holds back. It's 1 and 2 now. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And that ends the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Red Sox six and the Rays three. Wander Suero has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 51. Wander. Suero. Now it'll be Hunter Renfro. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Now the 1 0. Really high curveball right there. Struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball. Figuring out and finding that release point. Ball even at two and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now Next to dig in, Bobby Dahlbeck. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on the way. Hey. The 0 and 1 delivery. Hard hit to first. Right to him. And a step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Next to stand in is Marwin Gonzalez. It was a base hit last time up. Now here's the first offering. Tried to check it and it's 0 1. Two out, nobody on. Nope. And low, it's a ball and a strike. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Hey, find a way right here. Two outs. This guy has come in throwing bullets. If he can get this team into the dugout two right here with another donut and they regroup, start passing the baton a little bit, we got ourselves some action. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. On a line, that's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. And this is just a cut fastball. He's trying to sneak in the back door. He's unable to get it done. Leaves it right over the heart of the plate. And then that's just too easy for a guy like this. He's licking his chops as the ball arrives. And he drills it to the outfield for an extra base hit. Standing in now, Kike Hernandez. Reined in. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. So they can't make anything out of the two-out double. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Josh Taylor is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 38. Josh Taylor. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Kiermeyer. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Well, this one's been a bit of a head scratcher despite their home run production today. Yeah, Matty V, this is one of those that you kind of scratch your head and you go, wow, you hit the ball all the ballpark, but still not enough 21. offense. It just goes to show you this sport is still, D-Row, all about pitching. It is. It's, it, it begins and ends on that bump right there. And there's just so many facets to the game, defense, base running. It's just not the team that hits the most home runs is going to win the ball game. One ball, two strikes.
ready to deliver the one and two. two, two yeah. We got three ball and two strikes. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Now to the plate, Wander Franco. He tripled last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. The 1-0. -oh. Hey. In there for strike one. Kiermaier on at first. Nobody out. A ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. Hey, no shame in that. Your eyes light up when that heater comes above the belt. That's so tough to lay off of. And he fouls this one off. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Inside, ball two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Next up is Austin Meadows. Fourth trip to the plate for him, and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, I know, Matty. It's been a really nice run for him, and hey, it's not over yet. You know he's as motivated as anybody to make something happen right here. His prior history versus this arm. He's got a three for five line. Now the 1 0. He swung on and missed in that strike one. The 1 1. Slider gets him swinging to God. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really Second force base hitters base. to expand One their base. zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Whoa, Brandon yeah. Lau is in with two away as he takes a ball one and zero. Oh. Has a look. Now the pitch. A runner on first with two away. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Verdugo backing up on it. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Riding in for Boston, Xander Bogart. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up nope. foul. Ball one. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. Swing and a ball hard hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. 
That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. So gets him. So they are able to get an out on an unusual play. And hopefully the pitcher's okay. Chaz Rowe comes in unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. J.D. Martinez will stand in as he's accounted for one of the biggest at-bats of the game so far. A three-run shot back in the fifth that's really energized his ball club. First pitch on its way. This is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint, you're just trying to create hard contact and get it by that infield. And he misses there, one and two. One ball, two strikes. A man at third with one away. And he won't go after the cut fastball, two and two. Regardless of the result right here, to be down 0-2 and work it back to an even count, got to feel like it's a win for the offense. The 2-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Up next, Rafael Devers. Though they might pitch around him here with a couple of bases empty. Behind on that one. Now behind in the count, 0-1. Bogarts at third with two away. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. The one-two. Runs a bit inside for a ball. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. Ready with the payoff pitch. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at-bat if they want to get back in this thing. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep them out of danger. Back with more on this Monday night after this. Ladies Matt Barnes enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 32, Matt Barnes. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Randy Rosarena. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Low with a fastball here in the dirty. It's ball one. Barnes has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and sports an ERA right around the major league average at just over four. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. That's just a great pitch right there, great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee-high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Popped him up. Gonzalez is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth. This crowd was hoping for one away. Next will be the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Strike swinging, chased a high one there. Ready with the one and one. Well, count with two and one. The 
this one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Michael Brasso will be next. Set. Here's the 3 1. Three and now two. a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full 3 and 2. Now, this is a perfect example of why this manager feels so confident going to this beast in the ninth right here. He is throwing absolute thunder right here, pumped mm -hmm. up, and looks the part. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Good battle. Count remains full. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at bat. He loses him on ball four. Well, he battled to get into a 3 2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man all but one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up Mike Brasso. The pitch. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Verdugo is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now that first baseman, Yandi Diaz. Into the box, Yandi Diaz. Career numbers against Matt Barnes. He's two for four. He's taken him deep once. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. He's got it. And the Red Sox have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of the series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. And tonight's comes to an end. Six to three, the final. The Boston Red Sox used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Nate Evaldi earned his ninth win of the year. Tyler Glasnow permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Matt Barnes earns the save out of the bullpen, his 29th of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight. 